Welcome back, everyone. Today, we'll recap a 2019 horror film named Pock on the Origin. A cold-blooded killer named Inanta has been executed by the state. His only daughter named Sassy has to deliver her father's body to be buried in his hometown. Kindly remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. At the beginning of the movie, we see a man named Ananta in a jail, then an officer comes to take him from there. He handcuffs him and starts taking him from there and during this, he starts singing a song. After this, they tie him to a pillar, cover his face with a black cloth, and then he is executed. The scene shifts and comes to a bar where we see a girl named Sassy who is performing a song in that bar. While singing she sees a little girl there, seeing that she faints and when she looks back, there is no one there. Now she is on her way to her house when an officer stops her and confirms her name and tells her that they need her help and this is important. Now that officer brings her to the morgue of the jail where the warden of the jail named Rudy meets her. He tells her that they have executed her father but her father is still not dead. Then when they show her his body, he suddenly grabs her hand, which scares her a lot. Rudy tells her that after his execution, they heard him whispering that only his descendants can end his life. He asks her for a favor to kill her father to let his father rest in peace. But she comes out from there and starts vomiting and here she sees that girl again. Here, when they are changing Ananta's dress, the power of the entire jail goes out and we see Ananta opening his eyes. Rudy and Sasti are outside when they hear screams from inside and then they see Ananta open the door and come out. Then all of a sudden he attacks Sasti and when the guards try to stop him, he knocks them unconscious too. During this, Sasti gets a gun and when Ananta moves towards her again she shoots him, due to which he finally dies. And Sasti starts crying remembering her childhood moments with her dad. Here a reporter named Jandy secretly comes inside the jail but an officer catches her and asks her to wait outside. Here Rudy tells Sasti that her dad once told them to take his body to his hometown in Simekin. But they have decided that they will bury him in prison cemetery. If she wants, they can help her to move him to Simekin. Sasti tells him to do as per her father's wish. Now they put Anta's corpse in a car and leave for his hometown. Here Jandy gets a call from her boss and she tells him that according to her sources, Ananta has mastered the art of Bana's body that prevents him from dying. Unless he is buried in his hometown, he can return from the dead. Then she sees their car leaving from there and starts following them. Yama tells Sasti that if the traffic is smooth, they will reach there by 9 p.m. On the other hand, in the Simakin, we see Master and Dan. Only then does the Chief Derman comes there who looks quite upset. And Dang stops him but then he hears some whispering and leaves from there. As soon as he leaves, and Dang hears some sounds and when he goes inside, he understands that Ananta is about to come to Simekin. Here Ananta stops the car at one place to go to the toilet and when he goes to the toilet, someone starts banging the toilet door. But when he comes out there is no one there. Here Jandy also reaches there and she starts recording the dead body of Ananta. Now when Yama starts leaving from there, he hears the cry of a woman, but he cannot see anyone. Now he starts leaving from there in fear when someone comes and screams at him, due to which he runs away in fear. He tells a lady that he heard someone cry, to which she says that she is her daughter who is a little scared. Yama asks her what is she afraid of, to which she says that to the man who is at the back of his car cause that man is an evil person. She asks him to take him away from there and when she turns back, she does not have a face. Then Yama comes out and drives away. After they leave, Jayanti notices that the place is a ruin. Now Sasti asks Yama what happened but he doesn't tell her anything. She tells him about Jayanti and maybe she is following them. Here we see that Derman had been his wife Mewman in Simakin and he did this for the first time. And Dang does not believe this. On which Mewman tells him that he had received a call and after that, he started behaving strangely. He looked confused and went to the cemetery. Then after he returned, he got angry and hit her. Here Sasi tells Yama that people believe that her father has supernatural powers, but she does not believe in such things. Here in the Simakin, some children see that Derman commits suicide by hanging himself from a tree. Here Yama and Sasi hear on the radio that there is going to be a super blood moon tonight. Here in Simakin, Derman's funeral is taking place when some villagers come to Indang and gives him a cell phone. They tell that it is Derman's phone and he was called by the warden of the prison and they believe that it is related to Ananta's burial in this village. The whole village does not want Ananta's burial in their village cause they don't want to meet the same fate as the chafe. 
Hiriyama tells Sasuke that he has to take an alternate road and after a while. Their car stops. Yama checks but he does not find any problem in the car and there are no signals on their phone. Here the chief's burial is happening when suddenly something happens to Mewman and she starts laughing and her voice had changed. Now when the master asks him who is he, she calls him brother and starts singing a song. Here Sasuke is also singing the same song and she tells Yama that her father has taught her the song. Then Yama sees that someone is coming towards that side and he stops them and asks them for help. Now all three of them start pushing the car and then suddenly Anantha's corpse falls on a man. Due to this all of them get very scared and both of those men run away from there. Now Yama tells Sasuke that they should put his father's body back in the car and only then does he see that his car has also started automatically. Here Jandy stops at a shop to ask for the address and when she starts leaving from there. Both the men come there and say that they saw Pakong in a car a kilometer away from here. The man exaggerates and says that Pakong tried to eat him. Hiriyama and Sasuke's car get stuck in the mud and they have to stop again and they see that there was still no signal on their phone. Yama asks Sasuke to wait in the car and sets out to find help. Here the master goes back to the forest and pulls out a dagger from the ground. Sasuke feels a bit strange when she is waiting in the car. She comes out of the car and here we see someone standing behind her who is actually her dad and he calls her to him. He apologizes to her and asks her to hurry. Hiriyama sees some people and as soon as he asks them for help, he sees that they are not humans and he runs away from there in fear. He calls out to Sasuke and when she turns, Ananta disappears from there. But she is seeing all this in her dreams. Yama comes there and sits in the car and we see that those ghosts are walking toward them. They come to them and say that they are here for Ananta. Now before they can get Ananta out of the car, Yama somehow manages to pull the car out of the mud and rams into Jandy's car coming from behind. He sees that Jandy has fainted and then he tells Sasuke that they will switch the car by putting her father's body in Jandy's car. Now during this time, those ghosts are moving toward them. But before they reach them, Yama drives the car away and those ghosts disappear. Now after going some distance, their car stops again and Yama sees that the gas in the car has run out. Then he pushes and reaches a gas station where Sasuke goes to the toilet. But she hears someone crying there and when she goes inside, the door closes itself. Here Yama is filling gas in the car when he hears a girl's voice which scares him a lot and he sees a reflection in the mirror. That spirit calls him again. But looking back, there is no one there. Here Sasuke sees a woman and when she goes to her, there is only cloth there. Now seeing this, she gets very scared and she realizes that the ghost is behind her who stands right next to her. She screams seeing her, hearing that Yama runs towards that side and sees that Sasuke is lying unconscious. He tries to wake her up but it is the same ghost that he had seen in the reflection. Yama comes out scared where Sasuke is already sitting in the car. They then leave from there and Yama tells Sasuke that the closer they are to Simekin, they are seeing more weird things. He thinks it has something to do with her father and his hometown. Here the master comes out of the house and sees Moon who was completely red and those people also finally reach Ananta's hometown. Master comes to them and Yama tells him that they have come to deliver Ananta's dead body. Now master recognizes Sasuke and here we come to know that master is Ananta's elder brother. Meanwhile, Jandy also wakes up and gets very scared seeing the corpse. Then the master takes them to his house and says that they have to bury Ananta immediately. But the people in Simekin are not ready to bury him here. This afternoon the chief committed suicide and people suspect this must be supernatural and related to Ananta. Then he tells that the banished body demon who resides in Ananta's body will become stronger during the full moon. He will not let them bury Ananta in this land. Now when they check the time, they have only half an hour left to bury Ananta. Now the master tells that the art of banished body was mastered by many warriors since ancient times. Their master was one of the last users of this art, but he was killed when he was sleeping and they used an ancient Kujong blade. That night Ananta had come from the city and Banis body got transferred inside him. Now they have to use the same Kyujong blade to stop him. Then the people of the village gather outside the master's house and say that they will not allow Ananta's body to be buried here. They tell him to burn him as he brings bad luck. Now everyone reaches near the car to burn him but sees that his dead body is not in the car. Seeing this they all get very scared and then the master comes there and asks everyone to go home and close their windows and doors. Then he notices that Sasuke is not with him and we see that Sasuke has taken her father's body. Then all three of them find her and she tells them to bury her father here instead of killing him again. Then suddenly there is an earthquake for a few moments and Ananta's corpse stands. Now the master asks Yama to take Sasuke and Jandy from there but Jandy runs away from them. Where we see Ananta's corpse behind her. 
Then Yama and Sassy also come there and when JND looks back, there is no one there. Now he comes after Sassy and starts taking her away. But then the master attacks him from behind with the blade. Due to which Ananta leaves from there. Now Master and Yama run after Ananta and kill him. But they see that it is not Ananta but Chief. Now we see in the flashback that when Yuman was possessed, Ananta's spirit had come inside her and he told him that the demon becomes powerful on the full moon and he will not die from the Kyujung blade. He had said that he should not let Bina's body to take over Sasthi's body. Here we see Sasthi who was possessed and left with her father's dead body and the movie ends here. Thanks for watching.